how do I deal with the judgment that I get as a homeschool parent? So I've homeschooled for nearly 20 years, I've graduated two so far, and I still get judgment. But I decided about five years in, in one very specific conversation, that somebody was just so extraordinarily pompous that I was never going to let anybody else make a decision for my child other than their parents. And it was a family member who made an offhanded comment, and then another one who made another offhanded comment, and I was like, you know what? Neither of you are parents of these children. So the amount I care about your opinion is roughly zero. Especially because their track record with their adult children wasn't exactly what I would call phenomenal. You can always tell a good tree by its fruit, and if the fruit is not great, then why are we going to start harvesting from that tree? And actually, the fruit doesn't have to be bad. It can just be different fruit that you don't want for your tree, so like, don't go and try and steal some of the seeds. Go to trees that you want to harvest from, because we do need wisdom. We need input from other people. But we want to make sure that we're getting it from the right kind of tree. Look, we want to make sure that we're getting a lot of different perspectives. We want to make sure that we're getting a lot of different opinions. But we want to make sure we're getting it from the sources that are actually going to give us good seeds, not just people who have opinions because they feel like they can. And then when you have all those seeds from different people that you actually want the opinions of, you can evaluate those seeds and decide which ones you want to plant in your child. Because there are two people who can make that decision and those two people are the parents of that child. Beyond the parents of that child, everyone's allowed to have an opinion. That's fine. You can have your opinion. However, your opinion doesn't sway my direction. I'm still going to be the one who chooses what's best for my children, even if you're judgmental about it. And I understand it's a whole lot easier to get in a car and drive on a well-paved road than it is to pick up a machete and trudge your way through the jungle to get someplace. But one of them is where you might be called. And the person who doesn't understand why you wouldn't just get in a car and drive on the smooth road is never going to understand why you want to pick up a machete and chart a whole new path through the jungle. And they don't have to understand it. They don't have to agree with you. Their judgment doesn't automatically mean that you're going to make decisions based on their judgment. What it does mean is that at some point, if you just keep charting a path through the jungle and they still don't understand, they're gonna be quiet. Or at least they're gonna talk to other people about it other than you. And look, I get talked about plenty when I'm not around people, but here's the thing, I don't care because all of those people are get in the car and drive on the road people. I don't expect them to understand. But I do know that I have a calling that I must do what's right for my children no matter what the opinions of other people may hold. And at the end of the day, I will hold an account on how I treated them, how I educated them, and how I parented them throughout the years they were in my life. I look at the tiny humans who are sitting in front of me right now and realize that what I have in parenting them is a huge call on my life. This is the path that I chose to bring them on and I need to do right by them. So yes, people can judge all they want to, but my head hits my pillow at peace every night knowing that I am doing the best that I can for my children, despite what people who aren't their parents think about that. And peace is great.